Hello everyone and welcome back to Hugo House. Today we'll be taking a look at this 220 square foot tiny house. It's the perfect ceramic studio. This tiny house building is a two story 220 square foot ceramic studio space located in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. This cabin building was built by Noah Hedges. The two story tiny house building has an upstairs that is ideal for sleeping if needed. This charming artist studio is nicely done on the exterior and has an exterior that looks just as good with deep green painted cedar shingles and wood trim. There are also upper and lower patios which provide just enough room to seek cover and take in the view. The tiny house interior has lots of wood throughout for a great overall look. It seems that you see more and more tiny house building wherever you look. A tiny house building such as this is a great way to get the extra space you need. Whether that be for an artist ceramic studio, backyard guest house or tiny vacation home. The good news is that there are more small house designs to choose than ever before. And when it comes to tiny house designs, you start with a dream and with that dream, you want to start with a bit of research. You want to research things such as location, building sites, local laws, building, electrical, water, municipal and more. Once you have an idea on the type of tiny house building and tiny house interior that you want, and a tiny house design that will work in the area or location that you're building, you can then start to go about purchasing or developing your tiny house floor plan. Your tiny home building should fit your lifestyle, needs and your tiny house budget. The next step in your tiny house building is to verify the tiny house design with an engineer or an architect, electrician, tiny house builder and the municipality. Once all the tiny house floor plans are all in order, you can then start to look into getting building materials, labor quotes and whether you will build your tiny house building or you can have someone build it for you. You will then be able to start with your tiny house building with a floor plan that fits your budget, lifestyle and dreams. By properly planning for your tiny house building, you will avoid any unexpected building circumstances that can affect your tiny home build. When you properly research all the details of your tiny house build, you will end up with the tiny house design of your dreams and one that you had a lot of input with every step of the tiny house building process. Some of the things you should be sure and research include whether or not you will go with a tiny house on wheels or a stationary tiny house building, tiny house foundations, labor costs, building sites and more. Like any new home, when it comes to choosing a small house design, you will find them available in a wide variety of building materials and designs. And if you can't find a tiny house building that you love, you can always design your own. And that's our video and if you like it, consider dropping a like, it really helps this channel to grow. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. We're going to be featuring new homes every single day from log homes to tiny homes to vacation homes and other inspiring home ideas. I hope you have a great day and we will see you in the next video.